Hola chicos, feliz día de los muertos a todos. Hey guys, happy day of the dead to you guys when this video is coming out. Speaking as someone who actually has never celebrated the day of the dead because that's not part of uh, my upbringing, I adore this film. I am so excited and I feel so blessed to be reacting to this film. I have seen this film one time, just to let you all know. So this is not a first time watching. However, I am so beyond excited to see this as a Latina. I am not Mexican. However, I grew up with so much of the Mexican culture within the people that surrounded me in my daily community. And the Mexican culture is truly something that is so incredibly beautiful. And this film, I think, just really beautifully captures its essence. And something as someone who did not grow up with Dia de los Muertos as I have festively dressed myself for this reaction, I really have come to in years appreciate that this is a beautiful celebration that the Mexican people have for their fallen loved ones. And I, that is part of the reason that I have only seen this film once. So speaking as someone who uh, has faced a significant amount of loss of loved ones in my life. This film really, really speaks to me. And there are certain things about, as mentioned, Mexican culture, especially the music of this uh, movie that just instantly makes me emotional. And as someone who, within the last uh, year or so, lost a very, very dear loved one, uh, my Nana, who I will be referencing throughout this video, so I'm letting you all know, I am just looking forward to reacting to this with you guys. It is still quite fresh, or it is still, this film is not very fresh. I remember bits and pieces. I obviously remember the storyline, but not the details, which is why I wanted to share it with you all. And also as a Latina, you'll be getting a lot of Spanish Clarice in this, and I hope that you guys enjoy. If you guys wanna watch the entire full length reaction with me, it truly is going to be a beautiful experience. Uh, you guys can click in the links in the description down below on Patreon, and if you guys, that is, that is the best way to support my channel to help keep the video um to help keep the channel going so that I'm able to make more great content for you guys. I sincerely wish you all the best. And with all of that, let's just get into it. I think I'm cursed because of something that happened before I was even born. A long time ago, there was this family. The papa was a musician. Oh music. One day, he left with his guitar and never returned. Relate. And the mama, she didn't have time to cry over that walk away musician. Mm-hmm. Mama, no, let's go. After banishing all music from her life, Ugh. she found a way to provide for her daughter. She rolled up her sleeves and she learned to make shoes. Si se no tengo tiempo para nada, tengo una familia para cuidar. She chose shoes. Hey, shoes are nice. Then she taught her daughter to make shoes. And later, she taught her son-in-law. Hey, show that son-in-law. Then her grandkids got roped in. As her family grew, so did the business. Making them zapatos, let's go. had torn her family apart, but shoes held them all together. You see, that woman was my great-great-grandmother, Mama Imelda. I was gonna say, yo, she looked hella Mexican. <laughs> Con la cara with that face, like, mm. She died way before I was born, but my family still tells her story every year on Dia de los Muertos. And her little girl, she's my great-grandmother, Mama Coco. My Coco. Hola, Mama Coco. How are you? My name is Miguel. Mama Coco has trouble remembering things, so I tell her pretty much everything. I used to run like this, but now I run like this. It's just way faster. I have a dimple on this side, but not on this side. Dimple? No dimple. Miguel. My abuelita, she's Mama Coco's daughter. Have some more. No, gracias. I asked if you would like more tamales. Mm-hmm. See? That's what I thought you said. Mm-hmm. Man, that is every Latina, like, tia, abuela, or something. They're like, get it, ma. They're like, you want some more food? And you're like, no, I'm good. They're like, I told you. You don't like my cooking? Like, mm-hmm. Abuelita runs our house just like Mama Imelda did. Run. Oh! Bruh. We're the only family in Mexico who hates music. Why? That's so sad. I am not like the rest of my family. Mm-hmm. Este okay. músico. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not supposed to love music. But come on. <laughs> but it's not my fault. It is Ernesto de la Cruz. The greatest musician of all time. He started out a total nobody from Santa Cecilia. 
like me. When he played music, he made people fall in love with him. He wrote the best <laughs> songs. Uh, but my all-time favorite, it's... Uh, what kind of life you dream about? I know. When he was crushed by a giant bell. Oh. <laughs> Cha la vida. For any of those of you wondering, because sometimes you guys ask, I am Panamanian. I look at De La Cruz and I get this feeling like we're connected somehow. If he could play music, maybe someday I could too. If it wasn't for my family. Hi, muchacho. I asked for a shoe shine, not your life story. <laughs> Sorry, you are a musician, no? I, I don't know. I only really play for myself. Ah, come on. What did De La Cruz always say? Seize your moment. Show me what you got, muchacho. Oh, no. I'll be your first audience. Fair audience. Miguel! <gasps> ah, yalla, I know. What are you doing? Dang. And she got the chunkla. Yo, she got the chunkla. Stop, y'all. Just showing me his guitar. Sweet little angelito baby. I know. He wants no part of your music. Keep away from him. No angelito. Y'all know what he'd be doing. Come home now. Abuelita says no more plaza, then no more mm. plaza. But what about tonight? We're having this talent show. You have to have talent to be in a talent uh -huh. show. It's Dia de los Muertos. No one's going anywhere. Dia de los Muertos is the one night of the year our ancestors can come visit us. We put their photos on the ofrenda so their spirits can cross over. That is very important. If we don't put them up, they can't come. All this work to bring the family together. I'm being part of this family means being here for this family. I don't want to see you end up like, like Mama Coco's papa. Never mention that man. Bruh. Is this like, I love that in Encanto, we actually have a song that is dedicated to that phenomenon of like, we don't talk about this person, but it's all we talk about. I love it. <laughs> so Drew is like, I know you're going to be like this person growing up with a family with a very, very similar late generational story to this of the father of a family of children leaving like that's something that we also would hear growing up you don't want to be like that guy you don't want to be like uh -huh. I was just mm -hmm. papa. papa is home mama calmese calmese papa is coming home no mama I'm here who are you rest I'm hard on you because I care, Miguel. Miguel? Miguel? Eh, jovencito. That's just what he needs. <laughs> the music, it's, it's not just in me. It is me. When life gets me down, I play my guitar. The rest of the world may never underestimate the power of music. I had to have faith in my dream. No one was going to hand it to me. It was up to me to reach for that dream and make, make it, it come, come true. I just wanted to pause it to say that um, throughout that scene, it genuinely is remarkable, the power of music. Um, speaking as a musician and a lover of music and song who grew up with music within my family. However, as much as we love music, uh, growing up with uh being told that you know art and music and acting and all that is not anything to make a career on <laughs> growing up with so much beauty around and still kind of choosing to go against the grain of what was done traditionally in my own family and in an immigrant background um it really is remarkable what uh emotions kind of rise from the sound of music and just hearing Miguel play those chords it reminds me of listening to my older brother as he was discovering how to play the guitar it, it, it's always those same chords it's always those g's those regular d's if any of you out there play guitar but especially like spanish style guitar or mexican guitar it's just i got so emotional just hearing 
uh, the riffs of Miguel just playing because it's, it, it reminds me of my childhood uh, con la música escuchándola and uh, is just mu music truly is remarkable and I I commend this movie so much on how well it does it um, to a culture that means a lot to me and um, yeah no more hiding Dante Gotta seize my moment. It's time you joined us in the workshop. What? No more shiny shoes. You I know. Every day after school. But what if I'm no good at making shoes? It's true. Ay, Miguel, you have your family here to guide you. <sighs> you are a Rivera, and a Rivera is a shoemaker through and through. I recently saw, I think that that movie reaction is already out. I saw The Book of Life and it was a kind of completely different but similar uh, basis of being born into a specific family. I can't remember the last name of it. They were luchadores, bullfighters, and it's the same, it's giving that same vibe of it's just like, you are a Rivera, can we do this? And it's like, but what if I want to do something else? <laughs> <gasps> oh no! <gasps> I know! Don't ruin the ofrenda! <gasps> oh. De la Cruz's guitar? Papa! <gasps> Is your papa Ernesto de la Cruz? Papa! Papa! But that still means that he left his family. Mama Coco's father was Ernesto de la Cruz! I'm gonna be a musician! Le bajada tu abuelo en ataque! What is all this? Oh. You keep secrets from your own family? It's all uh, the time he spends in the plaza. Fills his head with crazy fantasy. It's not a fantasy. That man was Ernesto de la Cruz, the, the greatest musician of all time. We've never known anything about this man. But whoever he was, he, he let abandon his He family. abandoned your family. For my son. But, but, mm -hmm. No more music. <sighs> Just listen to me play. I know. You want to end up like that man? Forgotten? Let off your family's ofrenda? I don't care if I'm on some stupid ofrenda. <gasps> <gasps> no! Mama! <laughs> no music. No. You feel better after you eat with your family. <sighs> uh, is the... Is the unjust punishment an immediate love bombing of like, I know, I do this because I love you. I want to play in the plaza. Can I still sign up? Got an instrument? Uh, no. Musicians got to bring their own instruments. Can I borrow your guitar? Sorry, muchacho. Great, great grandfather. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. As I mentioned, I've seen this before. <laughs> mm. Just can't believe the bell took the man out mid performance. That's insane. <laughs> Please don't soil his grave. That's just messed up, no matter what. Senor de la Cruz, uh, I'm Miguel, your great great grandson. I need to borrow this. All right, who's in there? I'm sorry, it's not what it looks like. De La Cruz is like... Oh? There's nobody here. Uh, uh, Mama! Miguel! Uh, Where are you, Miguel? Uh, 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 let me help you. Hi, the old meal. <laughs> this gotta be so scary. It's because you took her picture off the ofrenda. Whoa. Whoa. Where? Welcome back. Anything to declare? 
so I'm curious from my family. The fact that this works like a passport immigration agency is just so good. Oh, your photos are in your son's umbrella. Have a great visit. Yes, it is I, Frida Kahlo. So we skip the scandal. Looks like no one put up your photo. That was a lie. No photo on an ofrenda. No crossing the bridge. Mm, he can't go. Oh. I demand to speak to the person in charge. I'm sorry, senora. It says here no one put up your photo. My family always, always, they wouldn't let me cross the bridge. Tell this woman and her devil box that my photo is on the ofrenda. <laughs> it's so accurate. Mama Imelda. What is going on? Mm -hmm. You the Rivera family? You stole from the dead. Ah, uh, that's why. The guitar? Guitar? It was my great great grandfather's. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We do not speak of that musician. Uh huh. But none of this explains why I couldn't cross over. Oh. <gasps> you took my photo of the ofrenda? Well, it was an. Get your family's blessing and everything should go back to normal. Okay. But you gotta do it by sunrise. But what, what does that, that mean? Hijole, your hand. Huh? You gonna you gonna go get dead. You look at the living and say his name. Miguel. Now say, I give you my blessing. I give you my blessing. Put my photo back on the ofrenda mm -hmm. and do never play music again. What? Yep. She can't do that. Well, technically she can add any condition she wants. Damn. Why? Oh, okay. Okay, he's back. Wait, but what if you break the curse? Two seconds and you already break your promise. You're already ah. Uh... Julio, I asked for your blessing. They're not gonna go again. You are not gonna fight against their mom. You think you think the family va ir en contra de la mamá? Oh, hombre. Oh my way or no. Mm -hmm. Oh no way. She is traumatized, bro. Her man left her ass. That is what she knows. Her man left her with however many children. Or not however many children. They left her with Coco because I'm remembering that they're all, yeah. Okay, never mind. But either way, they ain't going against Mama Imelda. What Imelda says goes, good luck. They've had to deal with eternity with her shit. They ain't changing now. Please, family. Listen to your Mama Imelda. She's just... <laughs> Listen, you get me across that bridge tonight, and I'll make it worth your while. Oh, you like De La Cruz? He and I go way back. I can get you front row seats to his Sunrise Spectacular show. With a warning. I'm getting a citation. Get my costume back? Uh, no. Oh. So. Uh, you, you really know De La Cruz? Who wants to? <laughs> I need De La Cruz's blessing. That's weirdly specific. He's my yes. great great grandfather. I can help you. You can help me. But most importantly, you can help me. Miguel. <laughs> I met them. Uh, that's nice. Yeah. I need my spirit guide, Pepita. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't even surprise me that that is what her alebrije looks like. Do you see how, like, intense that woman is? That is the power of the matriarch in a Latino family. Eh, ta -da. That is the doorknob. There you go. This place runs on memories. When you're well remembered, people put up your photo and you get to cross the bridge and visit the living on Dia de Muertos. No one's ever put up my picture. But you can change that. This is you. Aww. Eh, muy guapo, eh? Eh. If you get me to my great great grandpa, then I put up your photo when I get home? De La Cruz is a tough guy to get to. And I need to cross that bridge soon. Like tonight. So you got any other family here? Nope. Only De La Cruz. Ah, every year, your great great grandpa puts on the dumb show to mark the end of Dia de Muertos. Mm. You said you have front row mm. that, that was a lie. I apologize for that. You better have my dress, Hector. Hola, Ceci. Mm. I, I lost the dress. I don't know. I'm one Frida short of an opening number. Oh, it's, it's the Frida dress. I love that that came back. <laughs> Is that actual Frida Kahlo? Yo, how did you get in here? Oh, my. Oh, the mighty show, Lodo. Guide of wandering spirits. Ah. Oh. You died to me. You 
are the Ori. Darkness! And from the darkness, a giant papaya! Dancers emerge from the papaya, and the dancers are all me! <laughs> And they go to drink from the milk of their mother, who is a cactus. But who is also me? <laughs> is it too obvious? It could use some music. And what if everything was on fire? <laughs> yes, fire everywhere. Inspire. The lights go out, and Ernesto de la Cruz rises to the stage. Nice. Huh? Where's the real de la Cruz? He's too busy hosting that fancy party at the top of his tower. Mm. You know anything about this party? It's the hot ticket. You're never getting in, chorizo. Hey, it's chorizo. Ah! What do they call you, chorizo? He chokes on some chorizo. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I didn't choke. Okay? Dang. Push, a big difference. Ah! If you really want to get to Ernesto, there is that music competition. Winner gets to play at his party. You know where I can get a guitar? Uh, I know a guy. Hmm. <laughs> These people are all your family? We're all the ones with no photos or friends. Oh. No family to go home to. We all call each other cousin or tío oh. or whatever. Buenas noches, chicharron. I brought you a little offering. Get out of here. We really need to borrow your guitar. My guitar? My prized, beloved guitar? I promise mm. you will be You okay, amigo? I'm fading it for you. Play me something. No, you know I don't play anymore. You want it, you got to earn it. Any requests? You know my favorite actor. Mm hmm. Everyone knows Juanita. Her eyes each a different color. And if I weren't so ugly, she'd possibly give me a chance. <laughs> Brings back memories. Yes. <gasps> what happened? He's been forgotten. When there's no one left in the living world who remembers you, you disappear from this world. We call it the final death. But I've met him. I could remember him when I go back. No, it doesn't work like that, Chamaco. They have to be passed down by those who knew us in life. There's no one left alive to pass down Chicha's stories. I think that sentiment of the final death, two deaths to every human, it's the one when you first die, and then it's when the last person, whoever remembers you, utters your name for the last time. And I just, I even just seeing that, I get emotional. Just thinking about all the beautiful people that I've had the privilege of knowing who were gone, say, too soon or who lived a great life and have so many memories, but just the idea of any person worthy of stories and of being remembered and just no one remembering them. I just think of, for me, I think of some of my earlier memories, say with, um, a few family members who I didn't get to spend a lot of time with them uh, because they passed when I was, say, nine. So I only had just a few years of really remembering, but I didn't have the time, kind of like Miguel, you know, with kids. We don't always want to think about hearing the stories of our elders or any of that. But now, <laughs> so when you when you lose so many people, you really learn to appreciate human life. And I just remember uh, in 2020, just taking the time to get to know the stories of one of my uh, grandparents and just asking him about his life. He was kind of that old hoot, you know, little, little man from, from North Dakota. 
uh, has lived in the South, lived a simple life most of his life, and just always on about something. But I had noticed how so few people had... Uh, rarely, in, from what I had seen and known of him, taken the time to really talk to him and actually listen to what he was saying. So I just sat down and I just asked him about his life. And it was beautiful. As a, I think, in a 70-something-year-old man, just had lived a life, served in the Navy, uh, explored the world, <laughs> loved um, the beach and the coastline. All these just incredible, amazing things. And at the end of that, I could see he was so happy to just have gotten to share some about his life with someone. He thanked me. And he passed shortly after that. From from COVID. His name was Wayne. And I like that this film just helps give a little bit more connection and I think just empathy and relatable communal grief a way to feel less alone about it grief is something that will come to everyone sadly but we don't have to be alone in it and it looks different but the most that we can do is remember those people and I know for me in my life and I love that this movie embodies this I I hold on to my fallen loved ones so that they're not gone. Because I remember them. And I hope to pass down their memory so that when I'm gone, more people remember them. Part that on to you. And if you've lost someone recently, I'm sorry. It's okay to experience the grief you're feeling. Just know you're not alone. You told me you hated musicians. You never said you were one. How do you think I knew your great-great-grandpa? We used to play music together. Taught him everything he knows. You played mm -hmm. with Ernesto de la Cruz. Who's ready for some music? Hey! Is he think of Charo? What are you gonna play? Definitely remember me. No. Come on, it's his most popular song. Ah, it's too popular. Remember yes. Me. I'm like, no, don't do it. It's too typical. Yeah, shake it. Shake it. Now, give me your best grito. My best grito? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Belt it out. Let's go. Now, yeah, come on. Let's go. I don't know if I've ever fully attempted a Mexican scream. I can do a couple, but I don't know. Aww. Yay! Nicely done. Ah, oh, they nailed the sinking voice. I know. <laughs> mhm. Mm We're about to win this thing. I have an emergency announcement. Please be on the lookout for a living boy, Miguel. You said that La Cruz was your only family. You lied to me. Oh, you're mm. one to talk. Fair. I'm being forgotten, Miguel. I'm taking you to your family. Let go of mm. me. You only care about yourself. Keep your dumb photo. No, no. Stay away from me. He's about to be forgotten, though. Like, I'm sorry. I feel for Hector. <laughs> yep. This yep. nonsense ends now, Miguel. Music's the only thing that makes me happy. You want to take that away? You'll never understand. Y aunque la vida me cueste llorona, no dejaré de querer. 
I thought you hated music. I love it. My husband would play, and I would sing, and nothing else mattered. But when we had Coco, I wanted to put down roots. He wanted to play for the world. We each made a sacrifice to get what we want. Now you must make a choice. But I don't want to pick sides. Why can't you be on my side? That's what family's supposed to do. Support you. But you never will. Invitation. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's Foco Loco. You were a oh. You too. Hey, musician to musician, I need a favor. Decent winners. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's in the tuba. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Thanks, guys. Oh. My goodness. Oh. What you doing with me again? His little scream is so cute. Gosh, it's those harmonies. Aww. Miguel. Oh. It's you. You are that boy. That yeah, the one who the... came from the land of the living. Yeah. Why have you come here? I'm Miguel, your great great grandson. I need your blessing. The rest of our family, they wouldn't listen. With a talent like yours? How could I not listen? <laughs> I have a great great grandson! <laughs> Have you met my great great grandson? My great great grandson! Dimple? No, no. no dimple! No! no. no. Who is it? You know, I did all my own stats. Oh my goodness. You're the guy who, who actually did it! Did you ever regret it? Choosing music over everything else? Like leaving a family? I could not have done it differently. One cannot deny who one is meant to be. You and I, we are artists, Miguel. <sighs> we cannot belong to one family. Uh, this world is children family. are so malleable, though. <laughs> it's such a, it's, it is such an interesting thing um, to think about. You know, the pressures of, uh, the pressures of choosing success through career, especially something like a music career or an artistic career or uh, acting, filmmaking, all of that, because, you know, fame, it's really pursuit of fame and choosing that over the choice to do that or be with your family. It doesn't have to be mutually exclusive, but it is a good topic uh, that I like that this movie explores of chasing fame with its story of chasing fame. And then as he asks, you know, it's like even, you know, the sacrifice, but we are thinking at this point in the story, we know that he left a family. We know that he left a wife and a child um, to do this. And to, up till this point in the story, to become so affluent and to not give back, you know? Um, but again, it's at this point in the story to get home before sunrise. Oui. Yeah. I really do need to get you home. Yeah. It has been an honor. Miguel, I give you my blessing. We had a deal, Chamaco. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, Frida. I thought you couldn't make it. You said you'd take back my photo. You promised, Miguel. Yeah. Do you know this man? Uh, Hector? Hector? Please, Miguel, put my photo off. My friend, you're being forgotten. And whose fault is that? My songs that made you famous. You never told anyone that I wrote them. That's crazy. You want to tell him? Or should I? Oh? I never meant to take credit. We made a great team, but you died, and I only sang your songs because I wanted to keep a part of you alive. No, you did not keep his memory up. If I had songs that were written by my friend who had passed, no, I would credit them all the freaking time. Oh, how generous. Mm-hmm. Miguel can put my photo up, Hector. and I can cross over the bridge and see my girl. Remember the night I left? And you told me you would move heaven and earth for your amigo. I'm asking you to now. Heaven and earth? Like in the movie? What? Look. I would move heaven Oh, but it's poisoned! But it's poisoned! In the movie? Don Hidalgo poisons the He earth? poisons it! Poison! Yes! That night, Ernesto. You killed him? 
You want to give up now? This was your dream. I can't do this without your songs, Hector. I'm going home, Ernesto. My mind is made up. Oh, I could never hate you. If you must, I'm sending you off with a toast. To our friendship. I would mm. move heaven and earth for you, mi amigo. Salud. Mm. You walked me to the train station. I felt the pain in my stomach. Perhaps it was that chorizo, my friend. Ah, and so, and he started that chorizo rumor, and Ernesto de la Cruz started the chorizo rumor. Shoot, yo, no me, no me vengas con esta vaina. Yo le doy un tanganazo a ese man. No me. And he gave him a shitty ass death too. Damn, killing him wasn't a mu enough of a sting. He said, Nah, you know what? I'm gonna make it look cheap and dumb. Bruh, bitch, Ernesto. How could you? You took everything away from me. I just wanted to go back home. No. Miguel, my reputation. I would hate to have you think that you murdered. That you murdered a man for his songs that led to your entire success. Oh no, no, I'm just fine. I won't say anything. Mm. Papa Ernesto, my blessing. Security! What? Son of a bitch. But I'm your family! And Hector was my best friend. Bruh! The son of a bitch! I'm so glad I can finally shit on Ernesto. I just wanted to hold off until we got to the reveal, just so that, you know, like some of you guys who maybe are watching it with me can enjoy it. But now I'm like, oh my god! Straight up, he's like, but I'm your family! And he was my best friend. Like, I'm just a piece of shit. Success doesn't come for free. Mm -hmm. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. Seize your moment. Bruh. And, and that means, and that means murder. That means murder, everybody. Mm. The water and the texture of the rocks. Oh my God. Can anyone hear me? Just the visual effects there. Wow. Oh. No. She's forgetting me. Who? My daughter. She's the reason you wanted to cross the bridge. He just wanted I to just see want his to girl. See I wish I could tell her that her papa was trying to come home, that he loved her so much. My Coco. Coco? Where did you get this? That's my mama Coco. That's my mom Imelda. Is that you? We're family. family? I always hoped I'd see her again. Oh, she, she was a baby. Maybe put up my photo. I thought at least one day I'd see her here. <gasps> but he's gonna be gone. She's the last person who remembers me. The moment she's gone from the living world. You disappear from this one. I just think about Don't how little she her. was. Never again. She's like a baby. She lost her dad. <laughs> But it's so sad because she didn't only lose her dad. That means that Coco grew up with her mom's hatred of him, believing that her dad didn't love her enough. You know, I wrote her a song once. Remember me, though I have to say goodbye. Remember me. She was so little. Don't let it make you go. That I'm with you the only way. <laughs> there's a beautiful oh gosh there's a beautiful catharsis that comes from what movies can bring and move the heart to it's just it's beautiful this movie does a really good job at least for me he stole your guitar? yeah for real he stole his guitar he stole his guitar songs and made millions probably becoming the biggest success in the world off of the back of this man's work <laughs> yeah yeah uh and that's just a piece of shit and i'm glad that he will forever get shit on moving forward I didn't write remember me for the world i wrote it for coco 
my whole life, there's been something that made me different. But I never know where it came from. But now I know. And it's it you. you. I'm proud we're family. I'm proud to be his family. And if he's your family, maybe you can find a marigold. Because he could give you his blessing. Dante! <laughs> oh, hey! They found him. Oh. I was so worried. And you. Oh. Times must I turn you away. I want nothing to do with you. Ella no sabe. She don't know. She was in there because of me. I need to find De La Cruz. Hector should be on our ofrenda. He left this family. Try no. to go to you and Coco. But De La Cruz murdered him. It's true, Imelda. And so what if it's true? Imelda, I... No. Uh. Hector? <gasps> I'm running out of time. It's Coco. She's forgetting you. You don't have to forgive him. But we shouldn't forget him. <laughs> I wanted Coco to forget you too. But this is my fault, not yours. But it's not his fault either. Sorry, Imelda. It's not his fault either. I can't forgive you, but I will help you. <laughs> the papaya! <laughs> and it's on fire! It's all of the free. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I love Frida. Aww, Frida came and helped! <laughs> Yes. Ha! Don't I know you? Yes. For murdering the love of my life. She's talking about me. Uh huh. The love of your life. I don't know. I'm still angry at you. Yes. How did you? Uh huh. Trying to murder my grandson. Yes. He's talking about. Dale con el zapato. The photo. Yeah, he has it. Yo, you chump. <laughs> nice. Nice. This is in your you are in 30 seconds. No. That's all we need. Oh, I know. She is not Ernesto. Sing. Canta. Canta mujer. Hey, let's go. Uh -huh. Yeah, it does sound good, though. <laughs> it's on fire, though. <laughs> Her voice refined like wine. You my blessing to go home and to never, never play music again to never forget how much your family loves you go home go home go home go home you're not going anywhere fuck you ernesto not one more no <laughs> homie's about to commit child murder in the land of the dead <laughs> too hard, Hector. Too hard. Ooh, let's go use that film let's go tia let's go vamono you think i let him go back to the land of the living with your photo you're just the guy who murdered him and stole his soul whatever it takes <laughs> child murder Miguel. Miguel. <gasps> no he could oh thank god i was like he could totally die <laughs> from that fall oh Murderer! The child survived! Oh, shit! Please! Stop! 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 Oh, no! <gasps> Sunrise. 
Get back. Get back. Girl, I can't leave you. I promised I'd put your photo up. I promised you'd see Coco. We're both out of time, Miko. You have our blessing, Miguel. No Go. conditions. Go. Go, kid, a sunrise. Move, Miguel. Muévete. Apúrate. Apúrate, chiquillo. Ay, no, hombre. Déjalo que ya vea la mamá Coco. Vete, 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 vete. Come on, Chiquio. Come on, Chiquio. Mama Coco, your papa, he, he wanted you to have this. <gasps> Mama, wait. Remember me. <laughs> I just cried. <laughs> I knew what I did. I just cried. You notice she kept her little pigtails like in the picture. <laughs> My papa used to sing me that song. He loved you, Mama Coco. Papa, he loved you so much. He loved much. you so much. I kept his letters and... Papa was a musician. When I was a little girl, he and Mama would sing such beautiful <laughs> songs. You're just gonna keep crying. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck a bitch! <laughs> These aren't just old pictures, they're our family. I hope you guys all just know that what I am experiencing to help you all is just a fit of emotional release. And it is bittersweet, but it is also happy. Because this is beautiful. It's a beautiful story. And I like to live happy with the belief that I too will have this with my loved ones one day. I'll never know, but I know. <laughs> I can finally go through. Oh, she can be with her mom. I love that music feels like the emotion of the world. It's just the sounds and the musicality that we hear. It's like the rhythm of the universe. I just, I love music so much. I love this movie. I really like the message that it has. And... It's very cathartic, um, honestly, to just be able to see a, a happy, joyous ending like this. To deal with the bittersweetness that comes from grief and anguish, because truly it's emotions that are so can be so hard for, for us as just people to experience and allow ourselves to experience. And grief looks different for every person, but this is a beautiful story that I think hopefully can helps people uh, relate and, and kind of feel united through that grief and hopefully hope for something happy or cherish the memories and the life of the people you've known. One of my favorite songs uh, from my favorite musical um, is Spring Awakening.
the titular song in the end is called Those You've Known. And I always think about that song when I'm really feeling in the pits of grief. At the end, the character says, I'll see that their thoughts are known. And I'll know that they're not gone. They walk in my heart and I'll never let them go. Because they're not gone. I really love that this movie helps remind people of that is that they're not gone. And it's part of why I've come to from learning from genuinely this movie uh, to really just appreciate the beauty of a holiday like Dia de los Muertos and that the people can have something like this. I think it is beautiful. I think it's a beautiful thing. And I'm so glad that I learned that from this film taught me that. And I hope that you guys enjoyed too. I hope that you all, if you've sadly lost anyone that you've loved to remember that you can keep their memory alive and that it's okay to feel sad that they're gone but they're with you and with time in my experience i believe it doesn't go away but we learn to live on with them. And I hope that can be a comfort to some of you. As I always tell you guys, I genuinely wish you all the best. My Nana has a wonderful song that she loves and that I love as well. I was played at her funeral. It is called Un Dia a la Vez. And I think... At times when I think of grief, I'm reminded of that song. Where you can fall and dwell into the pits of anguish and despair. But in life, we really do just have to take it a day at a time. Un día a la vez, meaning a day at a time. It says, Un día a la vez, Mi Cristo. Es lo que pido de ti. Ayúdame hoy. Que quiero vivir un día a la vez. Ayer ya pasó, mi Cristo. Mañana quizás no vendrá. Ayúdame hoy, que quiero vivir un día a la vez. Hope that each of you, no matter what, in your present and today, cherish the life you have. Because you deserve to be happy. And you are allowed to be happy and to feel the joys of life. The waves of your emotions of sadness will come and they will go. But take everything one day at a time. I wish you guys all the best. Thank you all so much for making it this far with me today. Los quiero mucho y que Dios los bendiga a todos. I love you all. Wish you all love, joy, happiness, and other wonderful things in life. If you want to check out any other videos, you can click over here. Maybe see something a little bit happier. <laughs> or you can click over here and see, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what it is when I pick it. I wish you all the best. And if you are watching this on November 2nd, Feliz Día de los Muertos. Take care, everybody, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>